So after finding Zoroark last time, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to hunt next, but after I remembered that Tropius is in this game, I decided to hunt it. The main reason I chose Tropius is because it's finally back on the ground after being stuck hovering in the air for the past three generations. Luckily, it's a pretty easy Pokemon to target if you just head to Casaroya Lake with the grass and counter power. I just did laps around this area here, but you can go anywhere on the land, but it doesn't spawn on the water. I think that's the shiny. Is that a shiny Tropius? I think it is. Yeah, that definitely is. Oh my gosh, this was so quick. <laughs> okay, I need to take a new profile picture on this profile. I'm happy with that one. This was so quick. 481 encounters, a little over half the sandwich. Shiny Tropius. Awesome. Oh, it is so cool seeing this thing on the ground. I'm, I'm gonna go nest ball for sure. Okay, this thing, I was worried about how much this was gonna stand out, but it stands out quite a bit. Outrage. Where's my Paradox Tropius? That's a dragon type. That'd be cool. Nice. Nest Ball works so well on this thing. Delicious fruits grew out from around its neck because it always ate the same kind of fruit. That's like such a such a baller move. Just start growing the fruit you like. It's so you can totally tell right there that that's a shiny. It looks so good right there. The lighting can play some cruel tricks though. Ooh, that look that does look so good right there. That's I'm not sure on the nature. And no mark, mild. That looks so good in the comparison. I know it's more of a subtle shiny still, but I really like it. Ooh, flying terror type too, let's do that. <laughs> I don't think he really needs those balloons to fly, but you know, can't hurt. Actually, I don't want him to have the balloons. He finally touched the ground. For the first time since X and Y, and I just want him to stay there. It's so cool seeing Tropius walk around instead of just being floating above the ground. Alright, I wouldn't expect Tropius to be too fast, but you never know. Okay, he's kinda quick. He can keep up with you if you're just running around. That is not what I expected. That's... Just not what I expected at all. I figured he'd be kind of slow. Can't keep up with Miraidon, but... How big is he? Extra large. Ooh. In the sunset here, this comparison really sticks out. The lighting is really helping right now. He stands still. Look at that. He fell asleep. Magnificent creature. You doing? Really gotta soap him up. Wash his bananas. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this cry is so weird. This is a Pokemon I have not interacted with a lot. So oh, cool. One of the more subtle shinies, but like right there, you can definitely tell. Like the difference in the leaves and how much lighter the body is. I really like that. It can be kind of hard to tell when you're just looking at one. But when you can see both, it's it's pretty obvious. It sure is slow to wake up. How sick would it be to be able to fly around on Atropius? That would be so awesome. Customizable ride Pokemon. 